Donald Trump's personal lawyer, Mark Kasowitz, is in a particularly interesting position right now. So he is going to be in charge of the legal defense for Donald Trump on issues having to do with Russia. But it's important to note that at this point, Mark Kasowitz does not actually have a security clearance, which means that many of the documents that could theoretically be a part of this case, if a case develops, the lead lawyer won't actually even be able to look at because he doesn't have the actual ability to do so legally. Um, now, we can speculate about why that might be. There are reports about possible concerns about alcoholism, which of course he and his representatives uh, disagree strongly with. But that story is out there, and apparently in response to the story, we have an email exchange involving Mark Kasowitz that really gets to the core of who he is. And again, bear in mind, this is the lead lawyer for our current president. So a stranger, a total stranger who has not been identified, emails Mark Kasowitz's law firm, and the email says this, you don't know me, I don't know you. But I believe it is in your interest and the long term interest of your firm for you to resign from your position advising the president in regard to pending federal legal matters. No good can come from this. And in fact, your name may be turn out to be a disparaging historical footnote to the presidency of DJT, which to me sounds like a Trump supporter, okay? He seems to be pretty deferential to the president there. But he sends that out, and Mark Kasowitz sends out a standard legal boilerplate fuck you. <laughs> but to be fair, he put the asterisk in that email, which is right. amazing. And I appreciate that. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> so he does that. And just shortly thereafter, 12 minutes goes by, and he's like, you know what? That's not enough. I got to reach out to this total stranger on the internet more and says, and you don't know me, but I will know you. How dare you send me an email like that? I'm on you now, you are effing with me now. The asterisk is gone, we've pushed past it as, as a people. He says, let's see who you are, watch your back, bitch. <laughs> That's the <laughs> president's lawyer right, right there. You're a pirate, bitch. So then uh, the <laughs> internet stranger, <laughs> that's pretty funny. The, the internet stranger responds with, thank you for your kind reply. I may be in touch as appropriate because he wants to keep things appropriate. And uh, that's clearly a trolling response, let's keep it real. He's digging at Cass, so it's well, there. Well, he's not just, he's saying, I may be in touch as appropriate because I'm gonna report you. Yeah, that's you know, likely, that's the, I mean, uh, look, that was, a, that was an incredibly threatening thing. Yeah. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find you, watch your back. So Mark Kasowitz responds to that just two minutes later saying, call me if you want a conversation, I will have it with you. You are such a piece of shit, call me, don't be afraid, you piece of shit, which we've established earlier in the email he is. Stand up, if you don't call, you're just afraid, call me. This guy really wants to talk. And <laughs> he wants his phone number. Five he wants minutes. to talk to him while he's standing here. He does. Stand <laughs> up and talk to me. I can tell you're sitting down. What? So five minutes goes by, and he's still mad. And he says, I'm Jewish. I presume you are too. We don't know exactly why. It's possible. I mean, it could be the name. We, we don't know because it doesn't seem like there's any other information present about this person. It's got to be the name. Uh, Stop being afraid. Call me or give me your number, and I will call you. I already know where you live, I'm on you, you might as well call me, you will see me, I promise, bro. Bro, bro. the guy's like 70 years old. I know, and his last <laughs> name's <Bro>. Kasowitz. <laughs> Nobody named Kasowitz has ever said bitch and bro that way. He ended <laughs> with bro. Come on. No, for a second, I like it. It wasn't a bra, for the record, it was a bro. It was a bro. Every once in a while, I'll pause and like, like realize that we're in a surreal movie. Like, could you imagine if Obama's lawyer oh. sent this note to anyone? It would have been the largest scandal in Obama's presidency by an order of magnitude. Well, here's the difference: we never knew who Obama's lawyer was. <laughs> that's, that's a good right, point. That's right. There that's weren't right. as few. There wasn't as much legal we jeopardy. Didn't, we going didn't around. need one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, bro. so lots of layers to this, which I'm uh, very amused by. First off. The, the first email sent by the guy, the headline was, the, the title was resign now. And so I didn't read the text of the email until later. I just knew that it just said resign now. And I saw Kasowitz's reply first and I was like, okay, it says resign now, but he must have like really lit into him in the body of the email, right? No, it turns out when you read the body of the email, resign now, please, you know, I think that you're hurting the president. Thank you, good it's sir. It's incredibly polite. Yeah. So he receives this incredibly polite email with like a benign resign now. 
my God, have you never been online? <laughs> like, you want to see vitriol? Yeah, I mean, that's, resign that's now true. triggered you? That resign now is nicer than anything anyone has ever said to me online. <laughs> I know, right? This is the most special snowflake I've ever seen, right? So, it's like, resign now. He's like, what did you say to me? <laughs> right? He's yeah. like, what is it? He said, I'm on you. <laughs> Right. You, get the, you get the idea that I think he's standing as he's typing angrily. Right. No, that's the second part that amuses me. He types the fuck you and then 12 minutes later, no, I'm gonna go again. Right. <laughs> he's like, you bitch, you're a bitch for leagues, not for years. <laughs> so, I might be confusing it with Shia LaBeouf. Anyway, uh, so now let's get back to the thing that's most important, which is Kasowitz would did not want security clearance. First of all, if you're Donald Trump and your lawyer will not review the materials he needs to review in order to defend you, you're fired. Your you should be immediately fired. That's insane. He should <laughs> resign now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> so okay, but Trump's an idiot, so he's like, oh, okay, you know, the prosecutors will look at the material, but my lawyer won't. Blah. And he uses lawyers like this because that's who he's used to. He's, he's used this guy forever. And this right. guy has represented five out of the six uh, mafia families in New York. Uh huh. So hence, I'll find you. Give me your phone number. Yeah. I'm coming for you, bro. Right, exactly. Seven, bro, right? Maybe six out of the seven now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they said his excuse for not getting the security clearance. Now, now he didn't say this, and he even denies it. Was that he had problems with alcoholism, and I didn't believe that. I thought, no, look, dude, you you you've done some shady things in your past, and you ain't gonna go to get that security clearance. And number one, you're not gonna get it. Number two, what the stuff they find out about you when you go to get that security clearance is gonna get you in a world of trouble, right? That's why you didn't get the security clearance. Except having seen these emails, I now think there's some chance he is a drunk. <laughs> That's like a drunk move to do to like three, four times in a row. Right. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, I'm not done with you yet. Right. Just, hold on, just because I think Kasowitz is already starting to email us. That's speculation. We don't know. <laughs> Back off, bro. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying to be nice to him because if he's an alcoholic, he, he, I mean, it's not a good thing, but at least there's some excuse for this. Well, he does have an excuse. Abuse. So uh, he did apologize to uh, he at first through a spokesperson, eventually himself. He apologized. Uh, he said, uh, this is one of those times when one wishes he could reverse the clock, but of course I can't. And interestingly, uh, the day after the emails, he's typing much better, interesting. Uh, but he also said, this came at the end of a long day. It was at 10 p.m. and the day wasn't even over there yet. So I guess he was tired, okay? Maybe people email things when they're tired. There is no amount of tired where I fucking rip into a guy, yeah. right? Uh, when, I, when I'm the president's lawyer, and someone sent me the most benign email I've ever seen. This is the president's That's lawyer. The thing. This is the president, though. <laughs> just, just as shocking. Yeah. Why are you surprised that his emails. lawyer is this guy? Come on, guys. If you can't tell by now who Trump is, you just don't want to see it. He's been doing business with guys like this for decades and decades. And it, like Michael said, the, the, those if you I, I didn't know the degree to which he had represented those families. But if you look at Trump's record of working with those families, the, the crime families in New York, it's amazing. The lawyer it's, literally represented five of the six mafia families of New York at different times. And so it's not a coincidence that he's also representing Trump. Okay, so but you want to keep denying who he is, that's fine. But and, and I'll end on a on a Jesse quote from Breaking Bad. To be fair to Trump, uh, when the going gets tough, you don't need a criminal lawyer. You need a criminal lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the Young Turks, you'll love Young Turks membership. TYTnetwork.com slash join.